The OpenAI models that we use throughout this series are incredibly powerful, but they do come at a small cost. And sometimes all you need is a chatbot that runs on your local machine and that won't break the bank. In this video, I will show you how you can build a rag chatbot without spending any money using Flowwise and Olama. Olama is a tool that we can set up on our local machines and allows us to run LLM models locally. It also provides integration with many open source models like Llama 2, Mistral, Mixtral, and more. So in this video, I will show you how to set up Olama and then we'll download one of these models and we will then integrate Olama in Flowwise by first creating a simple conversation chain chatbot and lastly, we'll create a rag chatbot that will scrape information from a website and we'll be able to ask questions about the content on that web page. Let's start by setting up Olama. To get started, go to olama.com, then click on download, then execute the file that you just downloaded and install Olama. So after installation, that installation pop-up will simply disappear, but that's actually expected and we will start Olama manually using the terminal. So on your machine, open the command prompt PowerShell or Terminal, whatever you prefer. And let's start by downloading our first model. The choice of model is extremely important as some of these models are extremely resource intensive. So for this video, I'm actually going to use the Llama 2 model, but of course I recommend that you play with different models based on your hardware. In order to download a model, we can simply click on the model name and on this page, we can see this command, Olama run Llama 2. Let's simply copy this command and let's run this in the terminal. The first time you run this, Olama will first download the Llama 2 model and you will then see this message saying, send a message. And if I enter anything like hello, I will get a response back from Llama 2. So there are actually a few ways to start up Olama. And in this example, we simply started Olama using a specific model like Llama 2, and we're able to chat with our model using the terminal, which is actually a lot of fun as well, and very useful for testing out the responses from a given model. But in order to make this model available to Flowwise, we'll actually use a different approach. So to cancel out of this, I'm going to press Control D. Now let's serve Olama as a low local server by running Olama serve. And by the way, if you ever receive this error message, it simply means that Olama is already running and you can actually confirm this by grabbing this URL and then opening it in the browser and you should see a message like this that says Olama is running. And Olama was actually already running on my machine. So I just quickly canceled the previous session. So if we try this again by calling Olama serve, this one I'll start an Olama server and listen for requests from Flowwise. So now that we have Olama installed and running, let's create our chat flows in Flowwise. Note that I am running a local instance of Flowwise, so please ensure that you are also using a local instance if you are following along. An instance running on render, as example, will not work as it will not have access to your local Olama instance. This video is very specifically intended for creating local chatbots on your own machine. Let's create a new chat flow. Let's give it a name like local chatbot. Let's save this and let's start by adding a chain. So under add nodes, go to chains and let's add the conversation chain. Let's add our chat model. So under chat models, let's add the chat Olama model. Let's connect this model to our chain and let's have a look at this chat Olama node. This takes in a URL as input and this is the URL that our Olama instance is being served on. And if we copy this and open it in the browser, you should see this text saying Olama is running. If you do not see this text, then please ensure that you do have your Olama server running. If that is working, we then have to specify our model name. And the model that we downloaded earlier was Llama 2. You are able to download multiple models using Olama 
So if you have more than one type of model, you can easily swap them out using this field. Let's set the temperature to something like 0.7 and let's move on from that node. Let's add our memory node. So under add nodes, let's go to memory. I'm going to add the buffer memory node and let's connect that to our chain as well. And that is it. Let's save this chat flow. Let's test it out by saying something like hello. And in less than a second, I got this response back from Olama. So we now have a completely free chatbot that we can use on our local machines. So let's go ahead and create a RAG chatbot. This will allow us to upload a data source like a website address, PDF documents, text files, or whatever else we want. And we will then be able to ask the chatbot questions about that data. But before we continue, if you enjoy this content, then please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and please let me know in the comments which open source models you prefer. Let's click on add, let's save this, let's call it local rag chatbot, and let's save this. Let's start by adding a chain. So under add nodes, let's go to chains. And this time, let's add a conversational retrieval QA chain. This will allow us to add a data source to this chain. Let's add a chat model. So under chat models, let's go to chat olama. Let's connect our model to the chain. Within the chat olama node, let's set the model as llama2 and let's set the temperature to a lower value like 0.4. So let's add our data source by adding a vector store retriever. So under add nodes, let's go down to vector stores. And I'm just going to use the in-memory vector store in this example, but feel free to use Pinecone, Chroma, or whatever you prefer. Let's connect our vector store to our chain. And now we need to add our embeddings model, which is also slightly different to what we're used to with the OpenAI models. Let's go to add nodes. Then under embeddings, let's add the Olama embedding node. And let's connect this to our vector store. So for this node, we can leave the base URL the same as the base URL for the chat model. And for the model name, I will simply use Llama2 as well. Then under additional parameters, I'm going to enable use mmap. As I've found that if I do not enable this, the upsert actually fails. This could be a bug, but at the moment, that is what seems to work for me. I'm going to close this pop-up and let's go ahead and add our data source. Let's click on add nodes and under document loaders, you have the option of uploading a wide variety of different data sources. But for this video, I'm going to use the Cheerio web scraper in order to scrape information from a website. Let's attach this document loader to our vector store and under URL, I'm simply going to use this link to the Langchain homepage. So I'm going to copy this and then paste it into this field. And that's pretty much all we have to do to set up our RAG chatbot. I'm going to save this chatbot. Let's absurd this information into the vector store. And now that that's done, we should be able to ask questions about that web page. So back in the chat, let's open this up and let's ask, what is Langsmith? And indeed, we do get the correct response back. Using these open source models can definitely be a lot of fun, but they do have their limitations. And as an example, it's very difficult to create an agent with tools using these open source models, as function calling is pretty much an open AI feature. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see more videos using these open source models.